a quick module on creating and managing projects. So we're in the projects tab here. Normally you'll drop straight in there. You'll see on the top left here, you've got some additional tabs and we'll add these as we continue to develop the program. Accounts and contacts, which we'll cover in one of the other modules. Uh, the catalog, just a general catalog search. Again, we'll cover that later and then projects, okay? So you'll see projects here. You've got archive projects, which will bring up the archive ones, all project as such. Archive does not show in, in uh, all projects, all right? Search here, you can search. So it's a pretty generic search that so you get the home, uh, get to, and then you can search on the project number. So archive the project. And now it's archived. Great Home Project 2 is now here. You can unike restore by just clicking back. All right. Back to all projects. Create new project at the top right. There's a couple of questions. We'll call this the designer series. Uh, you can put a, a street in here. This is great because it'll be added in other areas, particularly presentation. Um, so good to fill out if you know it. And then the project type, all of these, none of these are mandatory, all right? You can have residential, single, multi-commercial, hospitality, and then new or remodel and save. When you first come into a project, You'll have this little bit of tutorial. You can jump in and let's go and off you go. There's three ways to start a project. We'll cover these in, again, the next modules. They're starting with plans. They're starting with finishes or schedules. And they're starting with the design book. All right. So um, Show Me How allows you to um, walk through some of the videos that we've got from, from the system here. Um, and then away you go into the system. We'll see in the summary here, we talked about construction plans, room space schedule, finish schedule, presentation book, some documents. We're going to go through all these in, in great detail um, so that you fully understand them in, as we move, move through our, our designer project. Um, these, are allow, these allow you to go straight into the particular areas, like now we're in the room schedule. Right. If we come back to summary, we go to schedules, room and finishes. Again, we'll discuss these later. This gets you directly into the book version. You see book, just quick navigation. And as we start to fill in things, um, plans, you can upload directly here. You'll start to see some data on these particular projects that you're doing. All right. Um, up here is a sharing function. Again, we'll discuss that later on how to share your projects with non-organisational users so they can view and edit and collaborate. Well, that's some great function there. And then some settings that are project related. So we'll be adding more and more of these over the next couple of months. But any of the settings that are project related versus administrative related. All right. Um, there is a history here where you can see what's going on, a little bit of little bit of breadcrumbs. And then the projects, you can click that to come back to your projects. Right? Or you jump in here and you can, of course, come back from your main menu into projects. All right. So projects, creating a project. If we want to archive that project there, we want to then see it, it's in archived. We want to restore it, there it is. And now it's back in our all projects. All right, thank you.